I'm Robert McMullen. I'm a psychiatrist in New York City for 36 years. I went to Georgetown Medical School, which is a wonderful medical school, and I did my residency at Columbia Presbyterian in New York. I have, during my entire practice, concentrated on, on using psychopharmacology to treat psychiatric illnesses from manic depression to mild bipolar disorder to depression to schizophrenia to panic attacks, the whole range. And five and a half years ago, we added a new modality, in part because I wanted to have another option when people failed on all kinds of medications. And this is transcranial magnetic stimulation. It's transcranial, it goes across the cranium, it's magnetic, and it's stimulation. And the beauty of it is, is that a magnetic field is not blocked by the skull at all. It just goes through it very easily. Whereas if you try to run electricity from one side of the head to the other, it really doesn't want to go through the skull and it'll tend to go over the top of the head. So it doesn't get into the brain that easily. But this was a very easy way to intervene in the brain both for research purposes and for treatment and it was uh, developed by Tony Barclay in uh, England in 1985 and uh, it's been used for depression for over 20 years now and it's been FDA approved for depression since 2008 it works for treatment-resistant depression in just about 50% of people, bringing them all the way to normal and often with a long-term benefit. But it works for many other things. And the, the thing I want to talk about is OCD, Obsessive Compulsive Disorder, which is a very common disorder. And uh, several percent of us suffer from this currently or at some time in our life. And it's it's very hard to treat. We have medications, mainly SSRI, serotonin medications, that significantly help, but uh, it's very hard to improve somebody more than 50%, or even to, to improve them 25%. So I have one patient I'll use as an example. She's a woman in her early 50s who has... Uh, suffered from depression and OCD all her life, but her main complaint is the OCD, because it just tortured her, that she would be worrying about her health all day long. There'd be some new thing that she would worry about, and, uh, and she would look it up on the internet and find out all sorts of details. And sometimes there was, uh, or often, there was a grain of truth in what she was worrying about. But uh, this took up so much of her time that it was interfering with her ability to work well, work well at her job, plus it just made her life a little miserable. So uh, we decided to do a TMS treatment with a TMS machine called a Brainswave from uh, Israel. And it's a helmet and the copper coils in it are arranged in such a way that it goes much deeper than other TMS machines. We have another one that's uh, the standard uh, figure eight coil. But this company developed a helmet especially for OCD. So we used this on her and, uh, for 30 treatments. And uh, what was uh, surprising was that both her depression and her OCD really improved. Now, with depression, her scores were fairly severe, like her Madras score was 30 to 40, and she came down to the normal range. And that was really a big transformation, that she did not feel depressed anymore. Now, the OCD score went, was about 24, 23, 24. When you're getting up that high in the white box, it's called the Yale Brown Obsessive Compulsive Scale. Once you're getting up that high, you're getting close to where somebody can't work, that they're too dysfunctional to work. 
that score went down to 10 from a high of uh, 23, 24, sometimes a little higher. When they do research on OCD with medications, they call it a response if you get a 25% improvement. With depression, you have to have a 50% improvement. But OCD is so difficult to treat that uh, the researchers are satisfied with a 25% improvement, and there's no placebo responders anyway. The people who get the fake pill that looks like the medicine, and they don't know who gets what, the doctors or the patients, those patients, very few of them get much benefit. And uh, so 25% is considered a response. So she had an over 50% response. And it persisted for six months. And she did really well for six months. And then I think as she's backslid a little bit, you know, that the OCD has come back a little, and she should probably get a few touch-up treatments. But uh, that's pretty phenomenal to have that much benefit and last that long. And she was happiest about the, the relief from the OCD than she was from the depression, even though the depression worked 100% because the OCD was no longer torturing her all day long. She could stop herself from thinking about things. She could spend time enjoying herself and thinking about other things. And it was quite a transformation. And this is going to be, it already is a revolution in psychiatry. And it's not as big a revolution as it could be because so few people are getting treated. And, uh, there's many reasons for this. I think one of them is that uh, to tell other psychiatrists I can get 50% of your treatment-resistant patients all the way to normal sounds too good to be true. So it must not be true. If you failed on five medicines, the odds of the next one making you 100% is way below 5%. And uh, it may be close to zero. And so when we get about 50%, that's phenomenal. And also, I think it's hard to convince the patients that it uh, sounds weird to be putting a big magnet on your head. It, uh, it involves going over to a doctor's office several times a week for weeks. And uh, it can be expensive. And so all of these things inhibit the widespread use of this. But as it's getting used more widely and more people see the dramatic responses, then there's more and more people coming for treatment. And this is much safer than ECT. Uh, Harold Sackheim, who was the head of research for 20 years at Columbia in shock treatment, and he really discovered many important things about where to place the, uh, the electrodes for the shock treatment to get maximum benefit and minimum side effects. He said that uh, TMS is much better than uh, shock treatment because it's safer, you don't have anesthesia, it's more comfortable. Generally, you can have the treatment, then get up and go to work that day. Whereas with TMS, you're, with, with ECT, you're having, uh, having to go undergo anesthesia and so on. And he also said that uh, TMS is longer acting. It lasts longer, you don't relapse as soon. When you do relapse, you don't need the full gamut of uh, of uh, sessions again. So uh, TMS works very well in OCD 